Hey guys! So, today I have a highly requested video from you guys and this was put down a lot in the comments of my um, iPhone unboxing video. So as you can tell from the title and probably why you clicked on it, it is a what is on my iPhone 6s. And um, I was kind of hesitant about doing this video just because I did a 5S one already last year, I think, or maybe it was 2014. I don't know, but I did that and not a lot of my apps have changed, but some stuff has, so I was like, well, you know what, you guys are requesting it, so I'll do it anyway. Um, so as you can tell, I have the uh, rose gold iPhone 6S and I'm in love with this. I don't have the Plus. The Plus was way too huge and I really didn't feel like getting that. So I got this one and my case is just this black henna, um, I think it's called a TPU case and it's like bendy and it's clear and I got that from Milky Way cases and I will link them below if you guys want to check out their stuff. I love their cases. They're so cute. Um, they're very Instagram worthy. So, um, without further ado, we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is my main screen when I first turn on my phone. It is just, um, it says always seek the light and I found that on Pinterest. Um, and it's just like watercolors. So we go into my phone and here is my main, um, layout page. I like to keep my, um my apps and phone pretty clean. I don't like clutter everywhere. So I have the second page with a bunch of folders and then the front page is everything I use like constantly on a daily basis. And then the four main ones that I use here at the bottom. Okay, so here I have my top app is my calendar. I do kind of frequent that a lot. I like to figure out what days I have stuff going on. Um, I don't keep everything in there though, like I have a planner, I don't use my phone for that, but sometimes I do have reminders in there. Email, Holy Bible, and the Weather Channel app, which I am obsessed with because it has so much detailed stuff on it, so much more than the um, like Apple one, the one that standard comes on the Apple, the weather one. Um, it has like videos and stuff and it shows you um, a bit better timeline of forecasts. And then I have the App Store, YouTube, Pinterest, um, Twitter, and then here I have my bank account. And then this is my pictures, camera, Netflix, a my Starbucks app because I have the rewards and stuff like that, Snapchat, Maps, and Spotify. And then we go down to the bottom of the phone. And at the bottom here, these are just the typical ones that I use constantly, just my phone, Safari, messages, and then Instagram. And if you want to follow me on any of the social media, I will have that linked right down there, down below. So go check that out if you want to follow me. Then when we swipe to my next page, like I said, everything is in folders. So right here I have my standard folders in these folders I just kind of grouped everything together where I thought it would fit. This is the Apple folder. This is These are the ones that I cannot delete and I, here I will prove it right now. I will hold on to them and see them jiggling. There's no X's. None. Which I really do hate. I wish Apple would stop that. So anyway, um, I just have compass tips, contacts I actually do go into every once in a while, and settings. And then I have find friends, find iPhone, podcast, weather, wallet, news, watch, clock, FaceTime, and game center. And I don't, do any of you know the answer to this? Why do they have FaceTime like in a folder when you can just like press the home, like the phone button and it's FaceTime? I don't know, I think that's kind of wasteful, but whatever, it's fine. My second folder is my fun folder. So this is like all my games and like entertainment stuff. And I do, Every once in a while, Dino plays around with this folder, so some of the stuff is also his. So, Cooking Fever is mine, and I absolutely love it. Game of Life, I love life. And I have like two different life board games, and I have it on here, and it's actually really fun to um, play like with friends, like because you can pass it on. I think four people can play. Um, that one was actually 99 cents. I think all the other ones are free. Monopoly Bingo, um, Linguinis. I think that's what it's called, Linguinis, 
lang languinis. I don't know. This game is super cute. It's like a mix between um, like Candy Crush, Scrabble, and some other stuff. So like when you play, like you have to combine the same colors and then make letters and then you also have like rules down here at the bottom like what you have to actually do and then you have to spell stuff out. I don't know. I really like it. I think it's really cute and it's really fun. Then I have line play. If you don't know what that is, a lot of YouTubers have that. Um, I will put my little code down below. I think you get like 5,000 or 10,000 gems, something like that for signing up with my little code. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's just, it's a cute little game. Like you get to decorate and make a house and like your little person. That's like her little town and this is her house and you can go in and you can decorate the little house and everything and you can pick your little girl out or like, I think you can do a boy too. Um, and then like you can just go around and like decorate your house the way that you want. This is my house, I have two dogs. And there's my table and my bed. I don't know, I think it's really cute, it's fun. And then I have Hungry Babies, which is kind of like Candy Crush too, but you feed the little animals. And I think Dino plays that more than I do. I play it every once in a while because it's cute, but he plays it more. Covet Fashion, which I am obsessed with and completely addicted to because it's like Barbies for grown-ups. And it's really fun. And Kim Kardashian game, which I just recently got again. I used to have it and then I used a cheat code and I beat everything and I had so many like diamonds and I had like all the houses and I was kind of over it. So now I'm trying to start it over since it's been updated and like not cheat. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have this Disney villains game, which is actually really cute, but you only get like three free games and then all the other stuff is like you have to pay for it. But it's really cute, but Dino is really entertained by that. And then I have Dub Smash, which most of you know what that is. Crossy Road, Green Eggs and Ham, this is a book for Dino. Jurassic Park and Minions are also Dino's games because he's obsessed with dinosaurs and he loves Minions. And then Colorfy, I'm actually really excited. This is just like the coloring books and stuff that they have out now and like with all the detail, like the adult coloring books and stuff. Then is my edit folder. So with my edit folder, I put different stuff like for movies, videos, like stuff to edit, um, like your pictures and stuff like that. So I have iMovie on there, which I haven't used yet on my phone, but I have it just in case. A beautiful mess, which is like different little collages and like you can write stuff and type it out in like cute little fonts. Procam, which just has a bunch of different um, filters for your pictures, same as Camera Plus, but this one I think... I actually think I might have got both of those with like the Starbucks free app of the week or whatever. Um, color editor, this is where you can make, just like this little picture right here, you can take like your picture and make it black and white and then just have like, you know, colored hair or colored lips or whatever it is that you want colored. Um, pick effects, which adds all the bokeh lights and stuff like that. My voice memos, because sometimes when I do voiceovers, I tend to use that and then I just email it to myself and then download it. Airbrush, which I've only used like once because I think this was also a free one, but it's just like this girl, like you make her look her best or whatever. I don't know. Like, I mean, you do it to yourself, not the girl, but. And then I have Retype, which I actually really do love. I think that it's so much fun because I've seen some people do quotes on Instagram and stuff. So it's just like this, how you're looking at this. Um, like you can pick a picture for the background and you can pick from ones that they already have or your own and then you do you type in whatever it is and then it like makes it all fun for you and there's a bunch of different ones and you can just pick where it goes if you want it tiny big um, but it just changes it all up for you and makes it cute. I actually recently, when I did my giveaway, that's how I did announce it on my Instagram. I like made a pretty font. And then the second page of that, I have the iTunes store, music videos, and then color, color burn. Which, here's a little trailer for you of what it does. But in all honesty, I haven't even used it yet. I think I downloaded that um, 
I saw it the other day on one of like the popular apps or whatever and so I downloaded it and I was like oh maybe I'll use it maybe I won't I don't know but I have it in there just in case so there's your little preview from there then I have my school folder and yes I'm still in school some of you know that um, I am a fashion student so a lot of this stuff I actually use while I'm at school so my calculator iBooks when I have notes reminders um, and then this is my uh, app for the Art Institute. You can check your classes and schedules and grades and stuff like that. Outlook, which is what our school email goes to. And then OneDrive, which technically isn't for school, but I figured I'd put it in this folder because when I want to upload stuff on my phone or um, documents and stuff, you can transfer and go to OneDrive instead of saving space like on your phone or on a flash drive if you don't have one. I have the health folder, which is <laughs> barely even used. There's only three apps in there. I just have the Apple Health app. Um, period diary and then lose it and then the period diary like tracks ovulation and periods and everything like that and hopefully soon I'll be using that because we're hoping to start trying again to have another baby soon and lose it is just um, like calorie trackers like you can scan your food that you eat and like put in your exercise and stuff like that then I have my shopping app so I have Michaels because Michaels constantly has um, coupons on there and I don't go there constantly but I do go to Michaels a fair amount so and then I have the Target Cartwheel app which is great to use because they always have discounts and coupons on there that they don't have in store Walmart because I use my savings catcher app because every time you scan your receipt like it adds up and then you can save it and then get a gift card to Walmart um, Ikea the catalog and Ikea store I don't really know the difference between those two, but we just got an Ikea here in St. Louis, so I made sure that I had both of those just in case I wanted to look before I go. Yelp, because you need reviews. You need real reviews. So Yelp, I definitely recommend. And then Target Red, that is just, I don't know why it's blank or white, but that's just for my Target credit card. So this is the last folder that I have, and I have Zillow, which is a um, like house and apartment, like if you're looking to buy a house or apartment, um, I'm on here every other day because I'm looking for houses and I'm trying to find an amazing one that I want to move into even though we're not even moving anytime soon. And then I have my progressive app because that's my car insurance. And then Indeed Jobs because I've been browsing like crazy since I only have a few months left of school. I'm trying to check it out and like look and see who's hiring, what's hiring, stuff like that. Sprint Zone because I have Sprint. IMDB because I it's really weird but I have this weird thing of like I have to know like who's in what movie or like oh I've seen their face before I need to figure out who they are because I know them from somewhere else and I've tried to delete this app one time before and it just didn't work out because I ended up using it again anyway and then Facebook and Facebook Messenger which truth be told I don't need this I'm gonna delete messenger the only reason I have Facebook is literally for games like you know, like, oh, log in and you'll get $1,000. Okay, sure. So I log in on Facebook. Um, it's mainly, though, for Covet. Because if you have Facebook, like, you can share Covet with your friends or whatever. Oh, that's my phone. That's it's not interesting to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys found some new apps that you haven't heard of or that you want. Okay, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed that video. You did request it. And if you guys request any videos, I will try my best to do them. So I really hope that um, you guys continue to follow me and um, please subscribe if you're not already a part of this little growing family of love. And um, until next week, bye.